Hello darlings! In this video, we are flying from the Philippines to South Korea with Asiana Airlines. It's about a three and a half hour ride. We're showing you flight meals, a peek inside the lounge, and sharing travel tips. Ready or not, let's soar! Welcome to the International Airport in Manila, which was renamed as Ninoy Aquino, a senator who was assassinated in 1983. His wife Corazon Aquino later became the Philippines' first female president. All right, we're a tad early, so let's grab a snack at the Asiana Lounge and get some work done. Magazines on display, you can take a copy, but in terms of sustainability, probably better to read it than leave it. There's also a selection of newspapers. What are these desserts called? Apparently, food for the gods. For us mere mortals, our sushi sandwiches. And buns stuffed with sliced cheese. There are a few tables and all are occupied, but you don't need a table to have access to an outlet. On the way out, you can't help but notice a mirror directly facing the stairs. What does it mean? It's a little past 12 p.m. We're taking off at 12.15. Short flight, but we got blankets and a pillow. We also have entertainment on the way. However, no touchscreen. It's the long-haul flights that Asiana tends to offer updated screens. The seats are so comfy. We also got the bendable headrest. It was so much more comfortable than the one on Air Asia. I mean, okay, granted, Air Asia is more like a budget airline, and you could feel the difference. By the way, this video was filmed over an year before COVID-19 took over the world. Even back then, we always carried a mask with us during our travels. People cough and sneeze into the air without covering their mouth, so it's good to be prepared. And if you're sick, you can help others stay healthy. Not just for the coronavirus, but for other things too. What inspirations lie within Asiana's in-flight magazine? The cover features the work of artist Kim Daeon. These black ink illustrations are part of his Munashi series. Can we just take a moment and reflect upon what message this image intends to convey? Dozens of faces lined up in a box, as the man looks into one, what does it mean? What does it mean to you? Keep on flipping and eventually land on the movie list. Maybe catch up on the latest releases or rewatch some classics. There's a Chinese food documentary called Once Upon a Bite. The remote is tucked away in the armrest. One side is for changing channels and playing games. The other side is a built-in phone. This is an older kind of uh, entertainment system. So it's not when the movie starts when you want to play it. It's just already running. In other words, no bathroom breaks because you can't pause movies. Before the plane takes off, the flight attendant gives us some forms. It's ideal to fill these out before landing. Just learned that we're going to have a 30 minute delay due to traffic. 12.50 p.m. The wheels are making progress. In the meantime, let's watch Jurassic Park with Korean dubbing and Chinese subtitles. There's one part where someone says, 안녕 친구, sweet and tasty reference, if you know what I mean. It nears 1.15 p.m., one hour delay thus far. I guess that means more movie time. Woohoo, we are up in the air. Cool, it's a ghost dragon racing against the plane. Lunch is served. Appetizer includes baby corn, cucumber, tomato, and a wedge of lemon over lettuce. Next container over are three slices of fruit, 110 milliliters of water. Ah, looks like we also have pita bread about palm-sized. Unveiling the entree. So the whole meal is Hindu. Some people might wonder, what exactly is a Hindu meal? As defined on Asiana's website, Hindu meals are prepared without beef and pork, according to Hindu customs and practices. Now five types of religious meals are offered. There are also vegan, vegetarian, and fruit meals. The dietary meal tab reveals diabetic, gluten-free, low-sodium, and dairy-free options. There's also food for babies and children. Keep in mind, you'll need to request these meals in advance. Otherwise, you'll get a standard meal. Green beans with ends removed. White rice. And to the far right looks to be chicken curry, a bit dehydrated. Here's a bird's eye view before digging in. Asiana serves their meals with metal cutlery, even for economy class. Please don't take it home with you though. The utensils come with a wet napkin. Let's wipe the remote and high-touch areas. 
It's one of my airplane habits long before COVID-19. Back then, people stared at me funny. And well, these days, sanitizing is expected. Melons and fruit are up first. Veiny cantaloupe can look like handmade paper. They say your taste buds get desensitized in high altitude, but this is sweet. Onto the watermelon. Wowee! Looks so moist, like a sweating popsicle. Also yum, though more delicately sweet. Last slice. Pineapple. Also super juicy. What about the flavor? Mmm -hmm hmm. We got lucky with the fruits today. Some airplane food pineapples can be tragically bland. Onto the, I guess we could call it a mini salad. Squeeze on the lemon. Pull out a tomato. Enjoy in one bite. Then the cucumber. It's a feel good crisp. And then Mamio's standard meal arrives. Fish and mushroom sauce with dill, rice, and some veggies. Specifically, it's the dory fish. No, no, not this dory. We're talking about this dory. Back to the mini salad. Have you tried baby corn before? Here's what baby corn looks like before it's chopped. Yum. Not nearly as extrovertedly crunchy as the cucumber. Do we eat the pita bread with curry? But we do have rice for the curry. About the chicken, some parts are dry, other parts enjoyably softer. You know, I feel like something's missing. Hummus would go really nice with this pita. Finish the curry, then suddenly the spiciness starts to kick in. Extinguish the fire with unseasoned green beans. It's a bland and clean flavor. Lettuce, now eat the lettuce. Get it? Lettuce sounds like let us. Yeah, I know, puns are awesome. By the way, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was hilarious. Traditional Korean music is also available on this flight. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Land is in sight. Did you know South Korea has over 3,000 islands? That's a lot of islands for a country about four times smaller than California. We make our descent and touch land past 6 p.m. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. Toodles, my noodles. Dear travelers, we'd like to share some tips with you. Mamio and I adore the Philippines, the food, the people, the scenery. But do be prepared for the international airport in Manila. I highly advise leaving your accommodation early enough to sit through traffic jams. Be absolutely certain which terminal you need to get to, because as one source puts it, considering their distance from one another, each terminal may very well be a separate airport onto itself, but they do share a common runway. If you get to the wrong terminal and are short on time, you'll want to take the cab, since the waiting time for buses may be long. For latest updates on anywhere you travel, please do extra research outside of the info I share. After all, the world is always changing, sometimes seemingly slowly, but surely. And the flight attendant just confirmed with me that I'll be getting a Hindu meal. I wanted to share guys different kinds of airplane food. We did halal before, vegetarian. We segue into the entree. Some airlines reportedly used plastic cutlery up to 10 times before throwing it away. In previous experiences, we have three seats next to the window. But here, it's double, three in the middle over there, and then double again. Oh, actually, the middle row has four seats. So it's two, four, two. Usually, plane toilets are well-maintained, but someone left a tornado of paper towels on the ground. Tisk tisk. Sometimes you gotta roll up your sleeves and clean up after other people. Do you miss riding planes? Or curious to know what flying sounds like? Here's some airplane white noise for ya.